Next question is from Yihan. What is the difference between mobility and flexibility? What a great question. Yeah. Good question you picked, Justin. Yeah. So in, in the way that we use mobility, because I think some people define mobility different, but the way we use mobility is you have control and strength within a particular range of motion. So that's your mobility. Flexibility is just range of motion. So like to give you an example, my 11-month-year-old son has got incredible flexibility. I mean, I could take his feet. I can put him by his head. He could do the splits. He's like, but he has no strength in there. So he's very unstable. I mean, my son can barely hold his own body up. If I put load on him, he'd probably hurt himself. So that's not the kind of, that's not what you want. You don't want to just be flexible. In fact, although not common, I've trained people with tremendous flexibility who have very little strength. They're the most injury risk uh, uh, people that I've ever worked with. They're super injury prone because they've got such crazy ranges of motion with no strength. And, and that's how you hurt yourself. Mobility is range of motion with strength. So mm -hmm. it's the difference between, you know, sitting on the floor in the splits and getting into the splits, but you can do it with resistance on your body or jump out of it without having to support yourself. Right. Like you own that range of motion. So I've trained a few clients like this and they all did have something in common. All of them were like yogis. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys, if you guys have trained enough people to see if there's like a common theme. But the clients that I had that had incredible flexibility but lacked good mobility, right? So strength and stability in that range of motion were like people that just loved yoga. They didn't do any real strength training. They just did yoga all the time. And so they were sitting in static stretches all the time. So that was the most common thing that I saw. I didn't have anybody else like You know what's that. funny about that, Adam, is because same here. So I, I can think of three people off the top of my head. Two people were yoga fanatics. One person actually was not active at all. And she just genetically was super, super hyper flexible. But when you look, when you actually go, because then I took yoga classes and, you know, Jessica was yoga certified and her instructor was incredible. And I brought this up to them and I said, I noticed when I've trained people who are yoga fanatics, they had terrible stability in certain mm -hmm. ranges of motion. And they said, that's because they're not practicing yoga properly. When you do yoga properly, you're supposed to stay active in the poses. So like, let's say you're in like warrior one, mm -hmm. you're not supposed to allow your feet to press out against the mat and just kind of sit. You're supposed to pull them in and stay active and activate your muscles. You're not just supposed to sit on the joint. You yes. Know, and let your body weight kind of yeah. rest. Now, now yin yoga would do that, right? You're sitting in a stretch and you're just relaxing and letting the things yeah. get loose, which I could see some benefit for someone like me who's maybe really tight, but yeah, that'll make you... That'll increase your risk of injury if you don't have the strength. But yes, yeah, speaking of like the hypo, uh, hyper flexible clients, like I had a few of those and all we would do is work on mobility and, yeah. and that being the difference where we would take certain positions and poses and uh, try to gain access to those those positions and poses by flexing and contracting muscles through like isometrics. So you get isometric contraction first, uh, just to be able to now gain that kind of communication and then try to slowly move our way out of those positions as well. So yeah, you, you want to, you want a good range of motion that you, but you have to own it. Otherwise it doesn't mean anything. I mean, think of being in a long static stretch. Now imagine your three-year-old jumps on you. If you feel like that would, tear something, you don't own that range of motion. Yeah. The range of motion you should that you have, you should have control over. I mean, this how injuries happen typically is someone moves in a range of motion, either quickly or whatever, that they don't own. So it's like, oh my God, I bent over and twisted to grab a box and I pulled my back muscle. It's because you moved outside of the range of motion that you fully owned. And when that happens, things become unstable and you end up injuring yourself. So mobility is what you want flexibility can lead to mobility. So you, you might want to increase range of motion, but if you don't connect to it, then it's, it's not really helping you. You have to have that control. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.